What's going on guys, Kirk Tasha here, and today I want to give you my review of Spin Rerun. Not only that, but I also want to give you a demo of how this software works, and actually put my money where my mouth is. Now, first of all, what is Spin Rewriter? Well, Spin Rewriter is an article spinning software, but it's unlike any other article spinner that you've seen before. Now, first of all, in case you don't know, an article spinner is a piece of software where you put an article into the software and it will actually spin the content. It will actually create and generate unique versions of that article for you. Now, I've used pretty much every other article spinner out there. I've used the best spinner. I've used Jet Spinner. I've used Spinchin. I've used Spinner Chief. I've used probably every other lesser known spinner that's out there as well. And the thing is, some of them can spin fairly well. But for the most part, when you spin an article with those spinners, you tend to end up with an article that's nothing but gibberish. You read it and it sounds like a big garbled mess. So, Spin Rewriter, however, is unlike any other article spinner that you've seen before. Spin Rewriter actually, first of all, it actually learns from its users. Okay, The software learns as it's being used. And it's constantly being developed and updated and advanced upon by its developers. Now, Spin Rewriter has actually been around for the last five years, and I've actually used them for the last five years myself. And it is the lifeblood of my content marketing. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to show you how Spin Rewriter works. And then I'm gonna, my money going in my mouth is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, I'm going to grab an article from my well-known article directory. I'm going to take the article. I'm going to spin it with Spin Rewriter. And then I'm going to place it, I'm going to up, upload it back into the same article directory and have it accepted as unique content. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And as we log in, we can see we have a section here that says rewrite articles. And all the other sections right here we can worry about later. I'm going to focus on, right now, so we'll focus on rewriting the article. So I'm going to click on rewrite articles. <coughs> And we come to the article rewriting page. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab me an article. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to grab one from Easy Articles. Now, if you've used Easy Articles before, you know how, how much of a stickler they are for unique content. Okay. If a content is not unique, they will not accept it. Okay. And sometimes, if you try to put any content that's not unique, they will actually freeze your account. So, first of all, let me go ahead and pick a, an article from a category that I like. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose self-improvement. Then I'm going to go ahead and choose, let's see, let's try goal setting. <coughs> and let's choose an article that we can use. So let's try, let's try this one here. Five crude tactics to get moving on achieving your goals. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to go ahead and click on Easy Publisher. I'm going to go ahead and copy the article content, go back to Spin Rewriter, I'm going to paste it in. Then what I need to do is do just a couple things to prep this. I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, remove, get, remove the link. I'm going to remove the author bio. And then we move this part here too as well. Okay, so now we have the content we're going to work with. And let me go ahead and actually go ahead and take space these out a little bit. Move these little symbols here. This will make it look a lot cleaner. Okay, so now let's go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to click on start the rewriting process. So now what's going to do is the so software is going to go and, and kind of analyze the content, figure out what it means, what it's, what's being said, uh, find what words you can actually replace. And then from there, it's going to go to the next step, which is actually replacing and, and creating variation of the, all the words. Now, all the words that are in green are words that I can actually double click on right now if I want to and manually choose different variations. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, and real quick here, 
I want to change the, even though this is accepted as it is, I'm using articles. I like to have my article titles with all the letters being with a capital letter starting out. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And if I click this little icon here, it will open up the text box, the text editor, so I can actually make corrections and add content into this if I want to. I'm just going to go ahead and just change these two capitals. Okay, now I just want to scroll back down and I'm going to go ahead and click on one click rewrite settings. Now from here I can choose different levels of spinning. I can choose the what's known as high risk low readability, which means that there's a it's very, very going to be very, very unique each version, but it's but it may look a little bit like gibberish. It may not make sense. The next one is kind of a medium where it's you know it's kind of a, a low, medium medium risk medium readability, which is recommended. However, I like to use the one that's where the software will only use the synonyms that it's actually confident about, so it'll be the most readable. You may not get as many unique versions, but you'll get the most readable versions. Okay. So. I can also do what's called nested spinning. You don't have to worry about that. I can understand it. And then I can actually protect keywords by putting them in this box here. This way, that won't change anything. It won't change any of the, uh, of the keywords. Like if I want to say I want to do SEO this article for a specific keyword or keyword phrase. And if I want to protect capitalized words in the, in the article, I can do that. So see if I had a company name that I want to make sure didn't get, didn't get changed out, but it got, so it got spun, I could put that in here for, as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on start. One click react process. And now it's going to go and it's going to find versions of all those words and phrases and sentences and make make it all these different unique creations. So now we have it as the stats, unique to the stats says billions of possible versions, 99% unique on average. So first let me go ahead and scroll to the top. And This one here. Right. Now, I can actually go through here and still change out words name if I want to. So, let's say, for example, I'm going to change that to a capital. Get a bracket there. So, I can put five quick. Fast, easy, simple, speedy. Uh, tactics, procedures. I can actually go through this whole article if I want to and change these words individually. I'm actually just going to leave it as it is for now, the rest of it. Scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to click on continue to final step. <clears throat> so now it's finalizing the article. It's going to save it automatically to the archive. And then now all I have to do is go ahead and come down here and click generate unique version. I can actually save this if you want to and export it. I'm just going to click the create a unique version right here. Okay. So now we have an article titled five easy procedures to get moving on attaining your objectives. Okay. So next we're going to go back to easy articles. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. And then I'm going to go and click on Write and Edit. I'm going to go to Speed Rewriter. And I'm going to go ahead, first of all, I'm going to look and see, make sure everything looks like it's structured correctly. Make sure there's no breaks in the lines or anything, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this. Go to the Body section and paste it in. Now that's done, you go ahead and save that article body. So next what I want to do is I'm going to go back into the body. I'm going to go ahead and grab the first paragraph and use that for the for the summary. For the summary, I'm going to paste that in. Click save. Next, I'm going to go and give the title again. So, go back to Speed Reader. I'm going to go back to the top of our article. I'm going to go ahead and grab that title again. And next, I'm going to go ahead and choose a category. 
So remember we had self-improvement and it was goal setting. Save. Now I'm going to go down, I'm going to go to <coughs> keywords. And it'll actually, I can actually choose some of these keywords if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and like sort the objectives, written goals, say, uh, short term goals, long term goals. And setting goals. Okay. Click on save. <coughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the resource box. I'm going to choose the resource box that I typically use, directing people to my Facebook page. Click on save. So now I got to do, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to just double check, make sure everything looks good. Preview the article. Looking for any uh, indications of a misspelled word or any, any green or red underlines that indicates a misspelled word or a grammatical error or a, you know, a uh, sentence structure error or a punctuation error. Everything looks good. You go ahead and click on submit this article. And it clicks again submit article. You reach the terms. Now, if it goes through, it means that the initial check has been has been accepted. Article submitted. I'm going to choose to share it on all my social media when it's ready. Click on share. Now if I go over to my unpublished article section, so I have one that I submitted earlier today, or, or yesterday, excuse me, and this one that I submitted. So what we're going to do now, what we're going to do is not have to wait until it actually gets approved. Okay, So that's, that could take you know, a few days, maybe usually. So we're going to go ahead and, and stop this section for now. And then we're going to continue once the article has been approved. So we'll see you when the article gets approved. All right, so it's been less than a day since we submitted an article. And we'll get our easy articles back up. So we have some notifications right here. So we'll go ahead and click on notifications. It's right here that the article we, we submitted has been which I just this one right now, I'm sorry. It has been approved. So the one that we, the article that we actually spun with Spin Rewriter, we took it from these in articles, spun it with Spin Rewriter, did a couple of tweaks with it, and then resubmitted it back to that same directory and it was and it was approved and published as mini content. So now why am I doing this? Why am I showing you that you can take an article and spin it and resubmit to the same. I'm not really tell I don't want I'm not telling you this to say you should go out and just grab articles from grab someone else's articles and just spin them and send them back and resubmit them. And you should always strive to write your own content. But here's a couple of things. First of all, what this what you can do is utilize these other articles from other people, get ideas and then you use those to write your own and then take those that you write, spin them. And, and then send them out to multiple article directories, multiple blogs, um, different websites, so you can get more and more traffic and more rankings in search engines for that for those same types of keywords to get more visitors to your site. And of course, that means more more visitors means more leads or, or subscribers, which means more potential signups and sales, etc. So I'm not doing that just to tell you to go and grab articles and just spin them. What I wanted to show you is how powerful Spin Rewriter is. How you can take an article from an article directory that is very meticulous about its unique content, very meticulous about making sure it's high quality stuff, okay? and take an article from that site, put it into Spin Rewriter, okay? take it, spin the article with the software, and then take it and then just make a couple of little minor tweaks you, know, you always want to read. You always want to rewrite, or excuse me, you always want to reread, proofread, and just kind of tweak any article you spin, no matter what spinner that you happen to have used, and take that and actually be able to utilize that 
as you need content, how powerful that sy the system really is. So I hope this shows you how very, very, how important it is that you use Spin Rewriter. If you're a content marketer, if you're a blogger, if you're an article writer, um, no matter, no, no matter what niche you happen to be in, okay, content is king on the internet. The more content you have out there, the more quality content you have out there, the better, the more attention you're going to get, of course, and the more, the more potential clients you're going to attract, the more subscribers, the more leads, the more sales you're going to generate. So, I mean, what else can you do with, with this with spin rewriter? I mean, is it all about just writing articles and spinning them and putting them in article directories? No. Okay. You can, of course, you can take an article, spin it, and submit to article directories. You can create multiple unique versions of your article. You can create PDF reports and, and ebooks. You can take this, uh, take the article, spin it, and utilize the spun version as a script and description for a video that you do. You can create a, uh, a short podcast for an audio and, and uh, just use that. So there's so much you can do with this content. And all that takes is just taking one, one piece of content. And, and in my example, I took an article from another author, spun it and resubmitted it. You can, you could do that. Um, you could write your own article and then do the spin it and then redistribute it and re do what's called repurposing, which is putting it in different formats like videos, books, etc. You could take a PLR article, private label rights article. E uh, easy in articles is real, real stickler. They will not take PLR articles. But I'm going to do another broadcast where I take a private label rights article, PLR article, run it through Spin Rewriter. And then I'm going to submit it to Easy in Articles. I'm going to have it accept that article as high quality, unique content. So, as I mentioned earlier in this broadcast, Spin Rewriter is currently at version 6.0, and version 7.0 is being released on October 12th. Now, if you get in right now and grab Spin Rewriter, you not only get the, the discounted price, but you'll also be up, bumped up to the 7.0 version for free when it comes out on October 12th. Now, you could wait till October 12th if you really wanted to, but I don't know if that price is going to stay the same. You know, things, this is the internet marketing world. We, things change all the time. Personally, what I would do is I would say get in now, reserve your copy, and start utilizing it and start dominating whatever niche you have it to be in. So with that, I want to thank you for watching this broadcast. I'm going to be doing future broadcasts on a few other topics. Number one, I'm going to do a, a topic, a broadcast on, as I mentioned, taking a private label rights article and submitting that to using articles after spinning it through Spin Rewriter. What I'm also going to do is I'm also going to give you an overview of what you get with the, with the gold version, the gold membership of using articles. So with that, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in my next broadcast. And if you want to grab Spin Rewriter right now, go ahead and leave a link in the video description here so you can pick that up right now. So go ahead and grab that now. And again, I will see you in the next broadcast.